Hi there, Ken and Danny here and today I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the narrow wide um, chain rings and also uh, converting the 3x8 into 1x10 drivetrain. This is our uh, $400 Cannondale F600 uh, project and we're gonna change the chain set from, uh, this is a Dior one, from triple into one. This will be 1x10. Um, why do I like this um, concept of uh, one by drivetrains? First of all, uh, in my opinion, uh, drivetrains that we have now uh, in this bike is still uh, the weakest chain of the whole construction be because the bike is awesome, everything works fine, but those two by three by drivetrains are still very, very imperfect. Uh, we may experience uh, chain drops and chain sucks and everything and you have to think about the chain line when you're changing the gears. Of course you have much wider ge uh, gearing ratio in 2x or 3x uh, drivetrain but by using uh, just uh, two I think or maybe even three narrow wide um, uh, chain rings and changing them according to the uh, circuit that you're gonna go for, for example on cross country racing um, I'll be quite happy with using just one chain ring. So, um, what do we have here? I have already taken off the uh, smallest uh, chain ring that was here on the inside and that means that those four bolts are already gone, we don't need them. So this will also uh, save a weight for us. And now as we can see we have those uh, four bolts uh, in this crankset, like um, most of the cranksets uh, crank on the market, we have um, 104 um, BCD, which is the um, bolt circle diameter. A very standard uh, thing, so you might have the same system in your uh, drivetrain. We have those uh, four bolts uh, and the largest and the middle chain ring are just uh, put here together. I'm gonna unscrew this, the latest one and I will show you the difference between the narrow white training, the chain ring. The difference is huge. All right, so just to show you the bolts, uh, we have like two piece bolts, the inner side and the outer side, there comes a bolt. So this is how we mount our, uh, our chain ring to the uh, crank arm. Now the difference between the chain rings, narrow wide and the started one is just huge. It's, it's completely different uh, chain ring. When you look at the teeth, why is it called narrow wide? Because it has um, narrow wide, narrow wide, narrow wide teeth. So that's it. Why? I'm gonna show you in a minute. But the, um, the teeth in the narrow wide chain ring don't have to be designed uh, in order to help the chain uh, come from the larger cock to this one or, or also drop or also drop from the middle one into the smallest one. So there is no um, upshifting and downshifting areas uh, on this uh, chain ring. As you can see this one is completely different. It has those pins here for upshifting areas. Uh, it has different shaping of the teeth for downshifting areas. So this helps changing the gears but also uh, it can be a nightmare in terms of uh, chain drops and chain sucks. I would say that this one solves those problems almost uh, 100%. Uh, these uh, teeth are much larger and they will hold on to the chain so that we don't even need the uh, chain guide uh, in this system. Uh, and the other thing is also this is steel, this is aluminum, this is much lighter than this one. But that's, that's the least important for me uh, in this um, conversion. Now, because this is the narrow white chain ring, it can only fit uh, one way. It wouldn't fit if we wanted to uh, fit those uh, white teeth in between the inner plates of our chain. So, because the chain has the inner plates and outer plates and the distance between them is different, that's why we can use also the teeth that will go between the inner plates and between the outer plates. But the most important thing I wanted to show you is uh, that this uh, chain ring holds on to teeth. It's absolutely impossible to take it off. So it's just awesome. 
Uh, if we look at the regular one, this one will not hold to the chain at all because it's not designed to, to do the job. Um, this one is the uh, Argon Components, this is a Polish brand uh, and the very popular race face would not uh, hold on to the chain uh, as uh, fine as this one uh, but you just may want to try with different chain rings and find for yourself something that is available on, available on your market and will really hold on to the chain because it really prevents uh, those uh, chain drops, it's just wonderful. Now there are also different kinds of uh, narrow white um, chain rings uh, in terms of uh, the way that we assemble it to the um, uh, crank arm. As you can see this one has uh, a shaping here, uh, so it, it is wider here than the chain ring itself uh, so that the, the bolts that we have will just fit into it. So into it. That means that we can just use the bolts that we had on our uh, Diori um, chain set and it will work just fine for us. So when you're buying the narrow white chain ring you have to make sure that it either comes with the shorter bolts or it fits to the bolts that you have um, already uh, on your uh, double or triple crank set. Uh, there is also the third kind of the chain ring uh, that has a thread inside so that you don't have to use this uh, little thing. You just use your bolts and you just bolt it in and it works, works fine. Now this shaping not only helps us to use uh, the bolts that we already have in our, on our crank set but also it makes your chain line better so I'm really happy with uh, this uh, design and I'm gonna use it for different bikes uh, I think that's basically all that you should know about the narrow white chain chain rings uh, themselves they are better than the regular chain rings but those couldn't be narrow white actually I think that the manufacturers could be doing also narrow white chain rings for the uh, double and triple uh, crank set but maybe those um, white teeth wouldn't be as white as in uh, one by uh, drivetrain and those would hold on to the um, chain better. This is what I think I would at least try uh, to do it if I was a, a SRAM Shimano or whatever uh, manufacturer. Alright, so let's just put our chain ring um, onto the bike, it's uh, very very easy. As you can see here I will mount it from the inside uh, of this uh, spider, if we can call it like that. And then we just use our bolts. All right, so this is how it looks. I just forgot to tell you that in order to uh, put the chain ring onto the uh, chain set, uh, you might need, uh, of course, the, the hex key, but also the special key to hold the inner part uh, of our bolt so that it wouldn't uh, just uh, spin around uh, but in this case I didn't have to use it and I think in most of the uh, cases you wouldn't have to use this special tool just the hex key and it comes in just uh, nicely let's just put our chain on our chain set as you can see it doesn't come like this it will only come like this of course we have a lighter bike because um, what left in my hands is those three chain rings and four bolts and also um, the chain ring that we put here, the, this is the 38 teeth, is much lighter than this uh, 32 steel um, chain ring. So this is a huge um, weight saving but this is not the most important thing for me here. What really matters to me uh, is that we are simplifying our bike. There is no front derailleur, no cables for the front derailleur, no left uh, shifter and also we are preventing the chain drops and chain sucks and this system works much better. Of course for different uh, circuits on the cross country races I would use different uh, chain rings. This is 38, this is quite tough one uh, but um, if I had also let's say 34 uh, that would be quite much enough for me uh, when using with this 10-speed, uh, not 11, but 10-speed uh, cassette and the Z derailleur. Uh, I'm gonna tell you more about it um, 
when I do the video about a whole project. So this is what I wanted to tell you about the NeuroWide uh, chain rings. If you've got uh, any questions, just put them beneath. Or if you have any experiences with those, uh, write them down and we'll talk about it. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.